In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create a model pop-up style login and sign-up form. So this is how our normal WordPress login and registration form looks like. And this is how your WooCommerce login and registration page looks like. But instead of these basic WordPress login and registration form, we are going to create something like this where we will have a button in the header. And if we click on this, it will open up a pop-up under this we will have sign in and sign up form right inside our pop-up itself. So if that sounds interesting and you also want to create some amazing looking custom WordPress login and sign up forms, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. And this is the third video in our series of creating custom forms in WordPress. And if you want to deep dive and learn everything about the custom forms in WordPress, we would highly recommend that you watch our complete playlist. We will add a link in the i button above or in the video description below. But right now, let's Let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how we can create this pop-up style sign-in and registration form. Now before we do anything, we need to make sure that if we are creating a custom registration form, we need to allow visitors to register their account on our website. And for that, we need to go to settings and under general tab, we have an option for membership and make sure that you have anyone can register option as tick mark or check mark here. And once that is done, just click on save at the bottom. After this, we need to go to plugins and here we need to make sure that we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version installed and activated and make sure you have updated that to the latest version. Once that is done, we need to go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks. And here we need to search for login. And this is the login and registration block that we need to use. And as you can see, it's part of the pro plan of this plugin. So make sure you have the pro version installed and updated to the latest version. After that, just need to turn on this block and then click on save. All right, so now we need to just go ahead and add this block on anywhere on our site to create a custom sign-in and registration form. And in order to create a pop-up style form, it's better we add this custom form inside our WordPress header. And as we are using Nexter theme, which comes with Nexter Builder, which allows us to create custom header and footer. And if we click on this, here we can create any type of template for our WordPress website, including custom header and footer. Right now, we already have a template for header. So we can go ahead and edit that itself. So let's click on edit and here you can see we have our logo, navigation menu and a button. And if you click on this, it's opening our pop-up window, which includes our sign in and sign up form. Now, in order to make it very simple for you, we have created some ready-made templates. All you have to do is just visit the link given in the video description below. And this will take you to the registration form design demos on the plusblocks.com. And if you scroll down here, you will find various templates for these forms that you can use on your website. So till now, these are the example of inline forms. And here is a design template. We have a button here. And if we click on this, it opens a drop down which shows our login and sign up form. So instead of opening up a pop up, we can also create a login form which will open up as a drop down menu. We can add this directly in our header. And this will open up our login and sign up form as a drop down menu. Also like this one, here we have the button named as registration. And if we click on this, it opens up the same drop down with sign in and sign up form. But here in this example, if we click on sign up, it's going to open up a pop up. And inside that we have our form, which allows us to sign in in our account or create a new one using sign up form. So here, if you are building your site from scratch, all you have to do is just copy this design from here and just come back here on your website. In order to paste this design on your website, you just need to click on this plus paste option on the very top. If we click here, it's going to add the complete design here. Now you can go ahead and modify or get rid of anything that you don't want. So we can remove this design from here. So only thing left here is our logo, navigation and this sign up button. Now we can go ahead and remove this container. And if we click on this, it's going to open up a pop up and it's containing our form which we can use to sign in or create a new account. So let's go ahead and update this here and see how it looks in the front end. 
So let's open this page in a private window and here is our header. And if you click on this button here, it's going to open up a pop-up which is containing our custom form. So using these ready-made templates, you can create your custom sign-in or registration form in no time. But now let me show you everything step by step, how you can build this pop-up and then add the form inside that. So here, if we click on this pop-up builder, let's remove this from here. And now we are left with our navigation menu and our logo. So let's say we click on insert after, and now we can just add TP pop-up builder. So this is the block we need to use. Let's click on this. And here is the default button. And if we check the options on the right hand side, under layout, we have the content type as pop-up. So we will leave it as it is and the direction of this will be center and let's say we increase the size to maybe 400 by 800 and the content type we can add a reusable block but in this case we are going to choose editor so that we can just add our sign in and registration form right here and selector will be the button which right now says open me so instead of that we can type in my account and in the style tab we can go ahead and add it any style as we like so we click on this towel button and for the background color so maybe we can choose a color shade like this one all right so now we have our pop-up builder all right so if we select this pop-up builder this is our empty pop-up and here we can add our login and sign up form so let's click here and we need to search for TP login. So this is the login and sign up block. Let's click on this. And this is how our default sign in form looks like. On the right hand side, under forms, we have type. So right now it is set on login. We have registration. And then we have login registration as multiple tab form. And for the first two, that is login and registration. We have already covered that in our previous video that we have already added in our playlist. You can go ahead and check our complete playlist that we have added in the i button above or in the video description below. So right now we have selected this login and registration form and we can just play around with the settings. So here on the tab, we have the title as login. So maybe we can type in, so maybe we can write sign in or instead of register, maybe we can type sign up. And here we can set default tab as login or register. So we will leave it on login. And below this, we have login and register tab. So if you click on this, here we can set all the fields that we want inside this sign in or login form. And once again, we have already covered these fields in our previous video. And same goes for the register tab. So if we click on sign up, this is how the form looks. And here are the fields. Once again, we can click on add field and add any new field inside this form. For example, we can add terms and conditions. So this will be the terms and condition check mark. And we can give it a text here, something like this. And we can just move on top of our button. And after this, we have add action. So here we can decide what should happen once the user sign in on sign up. So we can either redirect them to any specific page. So if it is an e-commerce site or if you are selling anything, you can redirect the visitor to your pricing page or maybe on a shopping landing page. After this, we have auto login. So once the sign up or sign in is done, the user will be redirected to my account page. And then we have send mail. So if we click on this, it's going to send a mail to the user. So we can set the mail content like the mail subject as well as the mail message right from here. And in order to make sure that all these emails land in the inbox of our user, not in the spam folder, it's highly advisable that we use some SMTP server. And how we are going to configure that, we have covered that in a separate video. And once that video is live, you will get the link in the i button above. So make sure you watch that video in order to configure that SMTP server in a correct way. So you can choose all three options from here. After this, we have my account menu. So this is the menu that will be visible once we again open up the pop-up so it's not going to show us the sign in or sign up it's going to show us my account tab and under that tab we can add a custom menu so this is the place where we can configure that and once again we have already covered that in our previous video where we talked about how to create a registration form and then we have the lost passwords 
So if you are adding a lost password form here, so this is how this form looks like. And you can edit all the details of this form from here. And we have already covered that in a separate video and added that in our playlist. So it's highly recommended that you watch our playlist and see all the videos in order to understand these forms and it's working step by step. Now in order to make these forms compatible to our website theme, all we have to do is just use our style tab here and here we get all the option to customize or style every element in these two forms and all these styling options are pretty much same as we have for other blocks in the plus blocks library and once again we have already covered all these options in detail in our previous video so right now we can just quickly go ahead and style this form to make it look compatible to our current website theme or you can simply once again visit the same page where we have all the templates for these forms so we can simply go ahead and copy this design again and then just use the plus paste and paste this entire design here and now if you just click on this pop-up here we can copy this entire section of login and sign up form let's copy this and now we can just remove this from here and here inside our pop-up we can simply paste the block that we have just copied so we get the complete sign in and sign up form with all the styling done already and if in case you want to change the color or typography once again we can go to style option and here we can change everything for example form button so here we can change the background color to maybe look similar to our website theme so something like this and similarly we can edit all the elements of this form from the style tab so let's update this here and if we refresh the page once again in a private window here is our my account button and if we click on this it's going to open up a pop-up and here we have our sign in and sign up form so this is how we can create a model pop-up style sign in and sign up form in our wordpress website if you want to deep dive and learn everything about the custom forms in wordpress we would highly recommend that you watch our complete playlist we will add a link in the i button above or in the video description below now in the next video of this series we are going to talk about how we can add social logins in these custom sign in and registration forms so i'm sure you don't want to miss that so make sure you subscribe subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notification whenever that video goes live and if you like this video then don't forget to hit like and share it with your friends and community so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video